Hi, I'm Todd Mall. Welcome to Cussers. And uh, you're going to get to look in to see what I'm doing here at Cussers at the LTD bar. It's a pop up bar featuring my silliness, and uh, we'll have a whole lot of fun. I always say my elevator pitch is the introduction of technology into an antiquated trade so that we're making drinks more efficiently, more purposefully, and ultimately, hopefully, they taste better. So why I'm here at Cussers is basically, if you can see, it's a very small, intimate spot. And to me, coming from um, other bars or restaurants that I've worked, the, the, the seating capacity is much larger. To me, it's, it's not as intimate. To be able to be in a small space like this and to really be able to hone your craft and have people right on top of you seeing how it's done, I really enjoy that idea. It's an open kitchen. You can see it being done. You can see how well they do things here. The food here is, is, is absolutely phenomenal. And I get to be, you know, the spotlight on top of that. I'm uh, very lucky to actually uh, be in possession of a, of a Snap Chiller. It's a company called Elemental Beverage that they bumped into me years ago. This machine, what it allows you to do is quite literally is to assign a value to cold. What is cold? Well, I like my martini cold. Really interesting about bartending, in my humble opinion, is the next progressive step is actually to making drinks in a temperature range, looking at exactly the way chefs do, and saying this is quite literally the, the bandwidth of which I feel that this spirit is best served at. I can take a Negroni off of this machine at eight degrees, serve it on negative 40 degree ice, and it'll stay exactly the same temperature for the duration of the drink. So this is a uh, well-crafted number 16. So this drink is actually gonna be served at eight degrees. So when it hits your tongue, you're actually tasting it just with your tongue, and then as it warms up in your mouth, it actually then, because of the, the thermodynamic uh, differential in your mouth. So it becomes, a drink literally has time release as you're drinking it because of the temperature of the drink. The number eight, it's basically a, a deconstructed uh, old fashioned. So we take Moscovado sugar, which is literally considered to be one of the least tampered with sugars. We torch it to get the aromatics open to it. It's going to be uh, whiskey, orange bitters, uh, Agnostora bitters, and then we're gonna serve it on negative 40 degree ice. To even get nerdier, if you put that negative 40 degree ice cube, the air above the drink actually is compressed so that that sugar can't actually break off. So when you're smelling the drink as you rip it to your face, it quite literally is gonna keep that burnt sugar smell closer to your nose. My experience in Boston, having been here for 30 years, is really interesting, is as I stumbled into doing this, I was lucky enough to start to bump into people that were getting advanced degrees in chemistry, biochemical engineering, and I really realized the folks that are in Boston are very kind of fundamentally interested in moving things forward, and I think that's why there's such a, you know, because of universities here, because of the hospitals here, there's all these very intelligent people that are kind of milling about and they're cocktail drinkers. I'm using some of the machines that they work with every day and they're like, hey man, that guy's making booze with it and I'm spinning out plasma. So I find that Boston has been very, I've been very lucky to be here and they've been very welcoming to what I do in, in the idea that they kind of see technology being integrated into something that's not necessarily would be known for it. Boston to me is a very special place and it's allowed me to be unique in a, in a field that's not often seen as unique. And to me ultimately, you know, you should come down and see what these guys are doing and say hello because, you know, we might just have a silly drink that you want to try and uh, make your day.